what is going on YouTube welcome back to another video uh, today I wanted to take a chance and talk to you guys about things I actually like about this car uh, my last video got a lot of comments saying that you know I bought the wrong car and I want to reiterate that no I don't hate the the Civic Type R I actually love it a lot uh, that those are just some things that I think Honda could improve upon now before we get started I wanted to ask you guys to comment down below what you like most about the Type R as well as uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, over 90% of you guys are not subscribers and it would help me a lot if you do so um, you know it, it gives me more uh, motivation to bring content to you guys about the Type R now since this is my newest car in a long time uh, there's a lot of things that I enjoy about the car number one is the uh, wireless charger I can have my phone just staying there with using Android Auto wirelessly and it charges my phone uh, I don't have that in my previous cars or my current cars because they're they're from the 90s and you know that's that's not common back then um, it's actually a great convenient for for long road trips just to have your phone charged whenever you drive another thing is the uh, the display display cluster um, you know with each individual mode you can change how it looks uh, I like the look of the plus R gauges It's very F1 inspired it also looks like the old s2000 uh, gauge cluster however this one doesn't go up to 9000 rpm sadly uh, I like it it displays a lot of information the uh, all the temperatures that you need the boost pressure outside temperature as well as your current song playing and your uh, navigations if you have it up The other thing I really love about this car is the efficiency of the engine. Uh, I've driven this car 210-ish miles now on this uh, current tank and I'm getting about 28 miles to the gallon. Um, I do mostly highway cruises, however uh, I do like two to three poles per day just from, from third or fourth gear and even with those poles I'm still getting 28 miles to the gallon that's that's wild to me um, my other car is the Celsius or the Lexus LS 400 uh, it's a V8 it gets like 21 miles to the gallon at best and so this improvement is a very welcome one you know the car is still fun still a lot of power um, and very efficient so if you daily this or you want to take this car to uh, you know for road trips it's, it's a great option you can cruise on the highway at, at highway speeds and get awesome awesome mileages I also like how spacious this car is in the back um, being a hatchback it is very practical for me uh, actually I just took lunch today out of the hatch because the weather outside was so nice and it has a lot of room to just you know lay there and think about your life choices uh, if you're into that um, the back actually has a lot of cargo room uh, I was able to carry a lot of groceries and some stuff from uh, moving and so it's great fun I'm, I think it is bigger than the uh, GR Corolla as well now a lot of people praise the Type R uh, seats for being extremely comfortable and I'm inclined to agree um, my past thousand or so miles have been extremely comfortable with the seats they hug you very well and I don't slide anywhere if I take a corner uh, in high speed uh, no complaints for me I have not had any squeaking at all so 
doesn't seem like the recall is uh, the recall affects me in any way uh, a lot of people in my last video said that I got the wrong car and I should have gotten the uh, Type S instead. However, to that I would have to say uh, the, the looks of the Type S just does not appeal to me. I'm not a fan of the tacked on fenders uh, in the rear. Uh, that, that was my gripe with the FK8. So, you know, it, it may look better for a lot of people. Personally, I'm just not a fan. Also, the seats don't look as nice as the Type R. Uh, even though, you know, they're heated, they're, they're leather, uh, that looks like leather. Um, I'm sure they're comfortable, but I like the red seats in this one better. Honda gets a lot of praises uh, for their shifter and shift knob and transmission. And I can see why. I mean, this thing is extremely nicely weighted and it's very notchy. It's, it's a joy to shift. Uh, I find myself shifting, downshifting uh, a lot in this car. And it, it's a joy to use. Um, I have no complaints about this car and this Honda shifter is the best uh, out of all the cars I've driven so far I'm also a big fan of the uh, physical HVAC controls uh, I did cross shop this car against the Golf R and I was not a fan of the all touchscreen approach uh, from Volkswagen um, I like, I enjoy using the knobs. They're, they're clicky, they're fun to use. I enjoy having physical buttons that I can press. This interior, like as far as the uh, AC vents, it's very easy to use. You know, they're, they're like joysticks. You can point them anywhere you want and they'll go that way. Big fan, big fan. Um, I think Honda made uh, a big leap from the 10th gen to the 11th gen Civic as far as the interior quality and design go, uh, went. Another thing I really like are these uh, side windows lights. Uh, at night, they will light up red and it's like mood lighting or interior lighting for, for the car. As well as the footwells on the driver and passenger seats, they also light up red at night. Uh, I think it's a nice uh, thing to have. <laughs> I've never had it in any cars before. I think I think it looks cool, matched with the the red carpets, and they're they're a nice touch, uh, in my opinion. To add on to the road trip uh, comments, this car comes with all the Honda sensing uh, amenities, as well as the radar cruise control and lane keep assist. Uh, uh, when I drive this car, when I drove this car back from Ohio over like 400 miles, I did use the radar control or radar cruise as well as the lane keep assist. They they work very well. They kept me in lane. Uh, if if I took both my hands off the steering wheel, the, it'll, it'll alert me on the gauge and it'll say, "Hey, put your hands back on. Pay attention." And I really enjoy that uh, having, you know, just the possibility of driving the car uh, with with less efforts uh, during long road trips so I think I think it's a great addition that Honda put in to the car one improvement I really like from the FK8 is in the engine bay um, I saw my buddy's engine bay uh, for the FK8 and it looks really cramped. However, in the FL5, it looks like there's a lot of space in there. Um, if you wanna do any modifications, like downpipe or, or intake box or anything, um, just a lot of space to move around in the car, in the engine bay. So I really appreciate that, that change from Honda. Let's do a small pull here. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment down below what mods you think I should go first with the car. Should I go with the Honda ECU 
uh, jailbreak? Should I go with wheels and tires first? Or should I go with some spoon springs? Let me know down below and make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you guys for watching once again and peace.